Hi folks, in today's video, we're going to look at a few different ways of working with MIDI in Scalar 3. In particular, we'll be looking at MIDI capture and MIDI export. MIDI capture is accessed by clicking the record button at the top of the screen. Here, we're given a drop-down menu with several options. Now we've looked at some of Scalar 3's detection capabilities in previous videos. Detection is all about taking external audio or external MIDI and bringing it into Scalar so Scalar can analyze various aspects of it, or detecting any relevant scales. Capture, on the other hand, is quite different. This is about recording anything that's happening inside of Scalar 3 and using that to create a standalone MIDI file which we can export and use in different ways. First of all, I've just taken one of the artist chord sets here. This is Alexander Nettlebeck number three, which I'm playing with one of Scalar 3's internal sounds. This is the electric piano sound, and it's a nice chord progression. Now, if I wanted to play this with Emotion, all I have to do is activate our Motion at the bottom of the screen. This is one of the new Jazz Soft Motions. And I can press the Play button in Section A to hear this entire chord set played with this motion. So this works quite well. However, I'm going to do things a little bit differently here. First of all, I've disabled Door Sync Mode so that Scalar 3 doesn't play as soon as I press play in my door. And I've also bound Section A by pressing Section A's bind button. Now I can manually trigger any chords in Section A by clicking on that chord's relevant trigger note in the instrument panel. Or I can also do this by playing the relevant keys on my attached MIDI controller, which is what I'm doing here. By utilizing MIDI Capture, I can record everything that Scale is doing as I'm triggering these chords, which will create a standalone MIDI file which I can drag into my door. I just have to click on the record button at the top of the screen, make sure Capture MIDI is selected, and then press this record button. The capture process will start automatically as soon as a chord in Scalar is triggered. But to give me a bit of help to play in time, I've loaded a drum loop into one of my audio tracks in Ableton Live. So I'm just going to activate MIDI capture, then launch my drum loop and then start triggering some chords with my MIDI controller. And after I press record to stop capture, we can see the drag icon flashing, indicating there is some MIDI capture there waiting to be exported. So all I have to do is drag the icon into a track in my door. I can see all the notes from the capture MIDI performance in Ableton Live's MIDI editor. And because I'm going to be playing this MIDI data back into Scalar, I need to make sure I have my motion disabled in Scalar. And I'll also unbind section A. This way, any notes contained in my MIDI clip won't be interpreted by Scalar as chord trigger notes, and Scalar won't be trying to create a new motion on top of this existing MIDI clip. So let's listen to how these two clips sound played together. Now let's look at a slightly different approach to using MIDI capture. Here I've created a duplicate of my Scalar track in Ableton Live, but in this Scalar instance, I've recreated the chord progression I created in the previous exercise down in section C. And I've chosen this lo-fi sound, which is another one of Scalar 3's internal sounds. And in this case, I do have door sync enabled. So if I just want to hear what my existing song sounds like with this new instrument sound playing those same chords, all I need to do is press play in my door. But that's not especially interesting. So instead, I'm going to use one of the keys lock modes to perform a new melody with the chords in section C acting as triggers. 
So to make sure that these chords don't get played whenever they're triggered, I'm going to open the settings and turn on Keys Lock Chord Mute. Now whenever Keys Lock is activated, triggering a chord won't actually play that chord. However, the melodies produced by playing in Keys Lock mode will be audible. Here I'm using the Chord Extensions Keys Lock mode, which is played using the white keys. Keys Lock changes the notes produced by these white keys to be the notes of the last triggered chord, plus additional chord extension notes. For a more detailed overview of Keys Lock, be sure to see our dedicated Keys Lock tutorial video. So just as before, I'm going to open MIDI Capture by clicking the record button, making sure Capture MIDI is selected, and then I'm going to press record here to start a new MIDI capture process. As before, the capturing process won't start until a chord in Scalar is triggered. But in this case, given I have keys or chord mute enabled, the MIDI capture process won't actually start until I play a melody note using keys lock. So I'm just going to press play in my door, which will automatically trigger my chords in section C. And using my MIDI keyboard, I'm just going to improvise a new melody over the top using this keys lock mode which will all be captured as a MIDI clip as part of MIDI Capture. And again, as we'll be playing these recorded MIDI notes back into Scalar, we need to make sure we've disabled any bound sections, plus we also need to disable door sync mode, so that Scalar 3 doesn't start playing the chords in section C automatically whenever my door plays. Now let's listen to how these three tracks sound played together. Now that we've looked at a few different aspects of MIDI capture in Scalar 3, I'd like to talk a little bit about MIDI export, which is similar to MIDI capture in some respects, in that we're creating a standalone MIDI file that we can export and do a variety of things with, but we won't actually be doing any recording. All of the MIDI data is already prepared inside of Scalar. We just have to get it out of there somehow. So I've made a few changes since the last section of this video. Using Scalar 3's internal plugin hosting capability, I've added a compressor effect to my piano sound, and a chorus effect to my melody sound just to make them pop out a little bit more, and I've also duplicated my Scalar instance again. In this new Scalar instance, we're over on the Arrange page, and I've changed the sound for the main track to one of Scalar 3's internal synth pad sounds. And I've also added a new bass track, using one of Scalar 3's internal bass motions. And it's just following along with the chords on my main track. Now because this Scalar 3 instance is in door sync mode, all I need to do is press play in Ableton Live, and I'll hear these two new tracks playing in time with all my existing tracks. So this certainly works fine, and I could just leave it playing this way if I wanted to, but it's also very easy to export any of these MIDI clips back into my DAW. For example, if I already had a bass software instrument loaded onto a MIDI track in my DAW, I could just click and drag this entire MIDI clip over to a MIDI track in my DAW. Or alternatively, if I had several different MIDI tracks ready in my door, I can also drag multiple clips simultaneously, and they'll automatically be distributed across different MIDI tracks. So as you can see, I have one MIDI clip on the top here, which is just my chords being played by the synth pad sound, and on the bottom I have another MIDI clip, which is my bass sound being performed with this bass motion. Thank you. 
Note that it's also possible to export the entire main track chord progression by clicking and dragging the export button in section C on the browse page. This means you don't need to manually select which chords you want to export beforehand, as it exports the entire progression. Or in addition to dragging and dropping, I can also export the entire Scalar 3 arrangement as its own MIDI file. This is done via the export button at the top of the screen. I just have to select export MIDI, and decide whether I want to export the entire Scalar 3 arrangement timeline, or just the current loop region I've selected. Plus I can also decide if the MIDI file that gets created consists of just one single track, with all of the notes being performed by all my instruments crammed into one track, or if I'd prefer all my individual tracks in Scalar, in this instance my main track and my bass track, to appear as separate tracks within the MIDI file. Then I simply click on export, and choose whereabouts on my computer I'd like to save the MIDI file. 